All right, I'm taking apart an Xbox One controller because one of the joysticks is sticking and there's a rattling part inside and I've repaired it a few times, but I think the part might be broken. So I'm gonna take this apart. It's a little gray clip on the side of the joystick. I ordered a set of replacement part things and I'm hoping that I can take this replacement joystick, remove the tiny little gray clip here on the side and then replace it with the one that's on to the get controller. the back off the controller after you slide in a plastic pry tool and pop off the two side handles. I believe there are five, one, two, three, four, and one right under the battery sticker, five Torx screws that are either T6 or T8. So I'm gonna get those out. All right, I got those screws out. So now we're gonna carefully disassemble the controller. Take off the top. And I, last time I did this, let's see if I can hear it. I don't know, somewhere there's a little piece rattling around in here. And I believe it's this right stick. So you, what you can do is you just, this joystick, you can pull just straight up and it's out. And you can see how this is looking like the, uh, the replacement one that I bought. I'm hoping I can just use this side clip. Oh yes, yeah, so you can see if we look really close, it's gonna be tough. The gray clip is missing from that side. See that white plastic, uh, here, it's a little thing here. You see this white plastic area, this gray clip popped off and the problem is is that you, it gets in the way of of turning and uh and then it gets stuck when you're right in the middle of a game or something and then rattles around and i don't know it just maybe it's a design flaw or it just gets broken with time oh actually i see the part how funny is this it's uh right here see that shoot i wish i had a small pair of tweezers but this part keeps popping off of the side it may just be cracked or broken so i'm hoping the new replacement part will uh, take care of that. All right, this is a bit awkward looking through a camera and uh, you know, having to do this, but here's the part I'm talking about. I'm sure you other people have had this problem too. This little plastic piece snaps on the side of that white clip right here, like this way. Where's my thing? Here we go. It snaps right down onto that, but it keeps breaking off. Oh, you know, I see one of the sides you know it doesn't look that broken it, but it does look kind of worn out and chewed up maybe that's all it is and it got loose so i'm going to try to pull it off of the side of this little thing right here see basically this this gray clip can i get can i pry this off and then just snap it onto the other thing i'm gonna have to do this off camera because it's a little awkward looking through a second lens well i hope i did this right the piece on the right is the one that I uh, pulled off the new joystick. And you can see it has some more extensions. I kind of had to pry off some metal and bend it out. The one on the left is the one from the original joystick. Maybe that's why it's broken. Maybe those bottom projections help hold the block down. So I'll see if I can get that snapped into the original housing so I don't have to do any, any other soldering or strange wire work. Okay, this is going to be a little awkward trying to do this on camera versus just with my bare hands, but we'll just give it a shot. This is where I want it to go, right here. Oh, crap, it's bigger than the... It's a little bigger than this green circuit board. That could be a problem unless I can, like, wiggle it around and... Oops. Well, shoot. I'm going to have to try something else. There we go, I think I got it. Basically, I just kept using a flat-bladed screwdriver and I wiggled one edge under the green board and the other edge under the green board. And there's a little tab down there that fits in a slot on the white. I kind of wiggled that in. And lastly, on top, there's one other small tab. So I just kind of kept wiggling and prying and cramming it in there. And then it snapped in. So, so I hope now that this whole side gray piece is in there, snapped in and good. And when I use the stick, let's see, yeah, okay. Left and right, see as I push down, it kind of keeps it all held in, and left and right. So I think, I think we're in business. Maybe that's just what happened. There was, we had some other small kids using the controllers and I think they're kind of hard on them at times and just push too hard and crank it to the side and maybe it just snapped. That looks like an awfully small piece. So here's the piece that I switched out basically. And uh, it looks like the bottom tabs kind of broke off on the side. So maybe that's a common repair. So if you have a similar controller problem, maybe just get a replacement joystick and take this part off 
and then swap it out for what you have and let's see if that works. I'll test it on the system to make sure it works on Another right. thing to be sure of as you're putting the controller back together, at least the back, make sure that you keep these uh, the battery terminals inside this compartment because it's easy to get them shoved under the plastic and you don't want to get it all screwed together and then have to take it back apart to pop them back out. So we're going to put these five screws back in and then I think we should be all set. All right, well now we're going to test it out in Minecraft. It's the right stick, so you see we can go left and right, down and up, and it appears that everything's working well. Hello, cats. And the dog's out there as well. Yeah, you know, I think this is good. As I click in the stick to, to duck down, yep, that seems to work fine. Left, right, up and down in a circle, or the other way too. Yeah, so I guess that's good. So that little gray clip that we were looking at earlier, let's get the lights back on here, this small clip, when it wears out, it appears you can get it from another joystick and just uh, snap out the old and put on the new. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching.